A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys.
bring the fragment to my lab. Vault Hunter, Clay says the operation was a success. Well, I've got good news as well. I know where the third fragment is. It's right under the harpy's snout. We can nab it and open the vault all in one fell swoop. Glad to have so many badasses on our side. A new ship AI. I'm intrigued. Lisps denote supreme intelligence, you know. So... Yeah. That leaves only one more fragment. Once you acquire it, I will join you at the vault. Tannis, I don't like this. Lilith, I understand your concern, but the facts remain. The Calypsos will come to feed on the Vault Monster. My presence is required to ensure that when they arrive, their dinner plate will be empty. Trust me, Lilith, it has to be me. It's her choice to go down, Lilith. And we have to do something where the Calypsos get exactly what they want. I know that. Tannis, I trust you. It's your call. Thank you, Lilith. And Ava, human emotions are well outside of my expertise, but... I must state the obvious. Troy Calypso killed Maya, not Lilith. There is enough fighting going on out there. This may not have been the family you signed up for, but it is the one you have. Tannis, I... <sighs> She'll figure it out. So what now, Lilith? Wainwright knows where the final key fragment is. We go for the vault. This time, if the Calypsos come, we'll be ready for them. Wainwright seemed pretty revved up. I can't blame him. Who wouldn't jump at the chance to take back what was stolen from them? Good luck, Bob Tunger. Don't worry, I got this ship on lockdown, baby. resonators feel. They're supposed to give you the human experience. I feel very sensitive to all stimuli. Happy! Wait! Losing hope! Sad now. Don't worry. If my experience is anything to go by, you'll only feel like that all of the time. Time to help a xenogeologist. I've got another collapseless mission ready to go. This request came from a science guy named Miles Brown, who lives on Eden 6. I didn't really understand all the science words, but it sounds like he needs your help with rocks. Thrilling!
Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Oh, thank goodness you've come! My babies are gone! A pack of filthy jabbers stole all of my precious baby stones! Your attachment to these stones is slightly troubling. Just find those jabbers and utterly eviscerate those filthy organisms! Uh, sorry, it's just living things are so disgusting with their skin and orifices. Oh, it's revolting! I spent years searching for brown rock samples and barely scraped together my prized collection. Please, find my beautiful specimens! You are overly agitated. It is only a rock. Calm yourself. These are more than rocks, damn it! They're my whole world! They're all I have. They're even named after me! 139.377 Brown Rocks, or Brown Rock for short. Although they're actually quite an exquisite gold color. Yes, I realize this is confusing, and I don't care! Just find them! A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Oh, my God. 
Okay, get your loot.
break this now. Some days you hunt, some days you are hunted. Excellent! Now please, return my sweet stones back to me! It would appear this King Jabber has been sending his underlings on endless fetch quests to gather all the brown rock in the area. What a nightmare! There is a strangeness here that demands explanation. Fine! Fine, you've caught me. I'll spill the beans. I am utterly enthralled by the transformation of the brown rock's calcite during recrystallization, which causes a unique form of foliation banding. That is all? Why, it's positively scandalous for a man in my position to be so enamored by this process. Don't you see? No. <clears throat>
Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Thank you for recovering my precious, helpless little specimens. Finally, I may continue my research. Alone. Blissfully apart from all the filthy organisms that inhabit the universe. I no longer have need of your assistance, so... Die! Vault Hunter, I got the fire in my breast and a gun in my hand. We gonna take back the last key fragment, and I figured out where it is. The Jacob's Powder Cellar. What is a powder cellar? Well, that's where my family cascades our signature gunpowder. My father must have hidden the fragment in a barrel of Grand Reserve black powder before the Calypsos arrived. Clay knows a secret way to get in. Go and meet up with him. This'll require a two-pronged attack. Vault Hunter, while you infiltrate the cellar, Alistair and I will slip past the Harpy's Zealot Guard. Tonight, we take back Jacobs. Here, here. I'm over by the waterfall when you're ready, Vault Hunter. Hunter. I cannot excuse Aurelia for what she has done to Wainwright and the people of Eden Six. She must answer for her crimes, but she is still my sister. If I could speak with Aurelia face to face, I might convince her to surrender. Enough blood has been shed, and sometimes the bonds of family can be repaired. I ask only for a brother's chance. Over here, Vault Hunter. Follow my lead. Montgomery Jacobs showed me this little side entrance back in my smuggling days. He was a great man. And I owe it to him to see that the Jacobs Corporation gets back in Jacobs' hands. Wainwright will make a damn fine head of the company, assuming any of us make it out of this alive. 
Let's get a move on. Here we are. This passage seems inconvenient. A party trick, perhaps? Yeah, Jacob's family loves their secrets. This passage will put you right underneath this state. Stay smooth, operator. with a bounty that would buy a lot of chew toys.
closet full of color-coded levers and dials. Winnie, you didn't tell me we needed to solve an elaborate puzzle. Nonsense. An elaborate puzzle is its own reward. Vault Hunter, all you have to do is push the request button by that delivery pipe and open the tube near you. We'll solve this puzzle over on our end. Let's see. That's this lever here. Crank back the amplitude here. Winnie, hurry. If my sister finds us... Set the dial to Cupcake, pull the silver chain, and here it comes, Vault Hunter. Incorrect. Damnation. Alistair, look around for clues. I found a stuffed fish with a code on it. That'll be the answer. Alistair, read me the clues, and I'll solve it. I'm hardly in the mood to... Oh, fie here. Eagle Crab 7 Windigo. This is the fun part, Alistair. Try and enjoy it. There, the code's in. Vault Hunter, hit the request button. This time for sure. Double incorrect. Hells, bells, the fish was a red herring. Watch out for more zealots, Vault Hunter. You're already dead. Accelerating!
Nearly done it. Ha! I wish I could see the look on that harpy's face when she finds out. Wish granted. Hands above your head, please. Vault Hunter, hurry! We've been found! Aurelia, as your brother, I implore you to stop this. Step aside, Alistair. Well, I trim the last loose end of the Jacob's line. If you want to kill Wainwright, then you will have to. Yes, I know. Thank you, Vault Hunter, for giving her every chance and for humoring a blinded fool of a brother. Your wounds, are they dire? We will survive the trip back to the lodge. It's up to you to finish the task, Vault Hunter. Right, the vault. To reveal the entrance, you'll have to solve some light statue-based riddles out in the garden. The only puzzles I enjoy are putting skeletons back together after I have removed them from their owners. I do apologize. Are you hearing this, Alistair? The Vault Hunters lost all whimsical intrigue. Forgive Winnie, he gets cranky when he's been shot. Don't just try solving the riddles, Vault Hunter. First statue is out there on the terrace. You just have to recreate how the subject died. Once you clear the path to the vault, I will join you with the rest of the vault key. That's the founder himself, Singleton Talbot Jacobs. Quite the eye for detail he had. Even if it caught Singleton was keen with tools. He kept a wrench in pocket to finally tune the tools of war that caused his sails to rocket. He peered too near at a marksman's gear, and the bullet went right through his socket. Singleton's 
Singleton got held up, and all he cared to do was inspect the bore of the robber's rifle. That is, until the robber shot him in the face. Head to the menagerie next. was installed by my great uncle Maddox. Maddox didn't trust a soul. The man preferred having bars between him and the rest of the world. Once measured his spaghetti on the suspicion that his cook was short noodle to him. For weakness. Outside world was full of those who surely meant him doom. While his concentration was on ruination, the gun at his back went kaboom. Yep, old Maddox spent so much time looking out the window, he never noticed that his butler was plotting his demise. Uh, gothic drama. The final riddle is in the greenhouse. Seems unbreakable. I can crack you open. Satisfied. Jacobs. He catches up to me and demands to know where I was going. So I say, 
You know where I'm going, Monty. Then I hear the click of a pistol chamber, and he says, Jacobs might have escaped the big war, but the next one is coming. The War of the Vaults. Good thing there's no vault here, huh, De Leon? I nod slowly. <clears throat> and if the great Typhon De Leon couldn't find that vault, no point in anyone else looking. He smiles and hands me a solid gold revolver. Pleasure doing business with you, De Leon. The biggest dump ever. There are some men who excel at any task laid before them, and Typhon De Leon is one of those men. Your loot, Vault Hunter. Wharton waxed his boots and floors to show off his great profit. So burnished was the catwalk that he stepped and slipped right off it. The worst of the falls went right to his balls. The damage was catastrophic. Wharton tripped in the factory and died of... Well, the doctor had to invent a new name for his injury. Called it fatal testicular devastation or some such thing. An innovator till the end, my grandpappy was. See, you sniffed all those riddles out like a saurian in heat. Head back to the terrace. There'll be a switch to reveal the entrance to the vault. See, Willie? The vault hunter enjoys solving elaborate puzzles as much as you do. Yes. Yes, I do suppose the heart of an adventurer still beats within you, vault hunter. You are close. I keep one in my jacket pocket. with a bounty that would buy a lot of chew toys. Good, you made it! The Fragment, Vault Hunter. We haven't much time. Forgive me. It's a thing I heard someone say once and I always wanted to try it. Anyway, there's no time for parlor tricks. I will assemble the vault key. I trust you know where to put that.
Please, Tannis. You can do this. Let's give it a try. You may want to stand back. As I said, experimental tech. Yes, it's working. I hope... Tannis. Are you okay? Just a little more. Ah, <laughs> excellent, it worked. I told Lilith it would. Sir Hammerlock once told me that when hunting a beast, it's best to deny its sustenance. Starving creatures make mistakes. Now Tyrene Calypso will be unable to derive power from the vault monster. What the actual dick? Did you just kill the vault monster for real? Come on! Now there's no point in any of this! <laughs> I'm so hungry! Uh, I guess I'll... I don't know, leech a pile of tanks? I like popcorn shrimp, but more... screamy. You guys really suck, you know that? Totally uncalled for. It seems we're alone. You may proceed into the vault to collect your loot. Meanwhile, I will examine the Iridian technology out here. connected to the Promethea vault you opened, as well as Pandora, and a fourth vault symbol I do not recognize. Could Tyrene Calypso be telling the truth about the Great Vault? I am concerned. Come out and we will return to Sanctuary together. Lilith will want to hear about this. We should probably discuss... Phaselock, out of nowhere! Hmm. Disconcerting. Now, Ty, do it, do it, do it! Tennis! And she's gone! Oh, man! You, when you killed that monster, I was like, shoot! <laughs> but we've got our eye on a bigger prize. Lilith, the Calypsos have kidnapped Tannis. No! Damn it! Vault Hunter, I need you back on Sanctuary, now! Hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys.
Should have seen it coming. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Stop talking about Tannis like she's already dead. There's still time. Incoming transmission. Of course. We kidnapped your scientist. If you want to see her alive. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, cause you eat butts. <laughs> it's gag butts. <laughs> it's us! Did you guess? Cool masks, right? Pre-order bonus. Time, pledge drive. So, spoiler, we are crazy close to opening the Great Vault. We found the key, BT Dubs, and it is huge! So we need a crap ton of Viridium to charge it, and you know what that means, let's drive! And since our followers go ape shit every time we maim or murder one of you, we put the next one up to a vote! Would you believe it? Weird Scientist was our most requested murder. Beat out Annoying Robot by just a bit. Damn it! Speaking of murder, Carnivora's getting hungry. Show's starting soon, and it's gonna be a killer. Tannis. They're gonna kill her if we don't do something! Tannis risked everything to keep Tyreen from getting to that vault monster. She deserves better than dying for the entertainment of two psychopaths. We're going back to Pandora. Vault Hunter, save her. The Calypso's mentioned a Carnivora. Go find Vaughn. I sent him to an old Crimson Raiders outpost in Devil's Razor. He's been monitoring COV movements. He'll know what's going on. You got this, Vault Hunter, you freaking animal. Go save that science lady.
hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. <laughs> Heading to an outpost called Roland's Rest. Vaughn will be there. <laughs> 